What's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy, and this is going to be a review of the MSI Clutch GM41 Wireless, a mouse that I am honored to have the privilege to review. And the way I heard about this mouse was through TikTok, and that is a huge red flag. Um, if companies are sending their mice or any products to tech talkers, um, that is a problem. So I had to pick this up. I was like, what is the catch? Because if sending it to people on TikTok is your main form of advertisement, there is sure something wrong and I was surprised because the mouse itself is really like polished and solid um, and it's made to be a Viper ultimate competitor so I'll do a comparison later you see it comes with the charging dock oh my god guys just like that it's charging um, but my unit is defective I have one issue that is just side button play which isn't like game breaking it is really annoying it makes the side buttons feel cheap as shit um, it's much worse on mouse 5 by the way but I also have this weird ass sensor issue um, where normally if this was a mouse that I cared about a lot I would RMA it but it's just like man um, so the sensor just randomly stops tracking I don't know what causes it to happen it's not an LOD thing. It's not a wireless interference thing. I, I don't know what it fucking is. Um, but just sometimes I'll swipe and the mouse will be like, I do not feel like tracking anymore. Um, and then it just stays like that for maybe one full second and then I can track again. And I'm not saying don't get the mouse because of these issues I'm having. I am I honestly haven't seen them replicated, but I don't think many of the people on TikTok actually plugged the mouse in. Um, but the, I just wanted to document the issue. It's the first time I've ever had something like it happen on a 3370. I did order this mouse on Amazon for, I believe, $95, and I will be returning it after this review. Um, I've started doing that a lot more recently, um, but you guys don't care about that. What do we talk about now? The build quality, I guess. Um, um, since we got past the sensor 3370 it's fine aside from that major issue i have um which i'm sure if i got another copy it wouldn't be present but yeah um the build quality of this mouse i have heard that it's made in the same factory as the viper ultimate i can't really 100 percent confirm that um and nor is it really relevant but the build is solid i can get the side buttons to activate when i squeeze really hard um, but it doesn't feel like the walls are really flexing like it feels like it has a strong build um even with the clicks there's not much side to side wobble um or really any problems aside from my right click being slightly creaky um so I'm really satisfied with the build of this mouse, aside from, of course, the mouse button 5 that is just so fucking loose. Um, that, that would be another reason to RMA this mouse, I guess. Um, the clicks it is using are Omron 60Ms, which is a new switch. Um, I think I, I don't know how like new it is, but it's the first time I've ever used it um, Can't wait for secret chat to be like, oh, it's been around since 2016 uh, <laughs> Nobody will understand that I seem like a spastic The way I see these clicks is an improved Omron 20M where it's not really snappy, um, but it is, what's, what word am I looking for, crisp? Yeah, I guess it would be crisp, but it's not like snappy. These words hold no meaning. These clicks are not heavy, they don't have the fastest rebound, they're not amazing for spamming, but there is a good amount of tactility, it's a bit heavier than like a standard Omron 20M, and overall I'm satisfied. If companies start using Omron 6GMs, that's a big improvement over other Omron switches. Um, I'm not sure if I would say these clicks have comfort grooves or not. You see it, there's like this part, which is just like an edge more so than a groove and it does not feel like your fingers are in a groove it, it doesn't feel like they're supposed to be there's an optimal placement for them uh it kind of feels fucking weird this mouse overall is really flat and long i'll compare it to the viper ultimate which is already like a pretty flat mouse but man the viper ultimate's hump it feels like a fucking like hot yes in my palm after using the gm41 and i do like this mouse's shape because look at where it flares out on the right side um, for me at least with 20 by 11 hands this is like perfect placement for my pinky for a claw grip on a low profile mouse um, but it is really long and flat so it will be good for palm grip if you have bigger hands not like gigantic hands 
um for fingertip i was not rocking with it i maybe it's just because i've used so many light mice what i'm trying to say is the 75 gram msi clutch gm41 will not be your end game fingertip mouse um something really weird is this textured sides i was like it feels like a plastic dinosaur toy that was a flashback i had so that's the only comparison i can make it's not rubbery um it's not grippy it's just kind of like textured and there um it's not it's j i don't know how to describe it it's really fucking weird um it doesn't feel terrible i just don't understand why it's there um maybe it actually is made in the same factory and this factory just refuses to make flat sides or not flat sides but non-textured sides dude holy shit um but yeah no complaints really they don't ruin the mouse they just i i don't get why they're there the coating on the rest of this mouse is really grippy um it's sort of like it's not glossy but it has some moisture to it and it's sort of rubberized and very nice i'd say it's yeah much more rubberized than something like the g pro x super light so the coating on this part of the mouse and where you rest your palm it's really nice uh what else is there talking about oh the side buttons well obviously i mentioned before how much play there is on this mouse 5 you can see it is it is just having a field day and i have some confidence in saying that i think this could be an issue on a lot of copies because if the side buttons have the potential to become this loose and it's already getting a bit worse on my mouse 4 um, i think the side button quality is a major concern and it's unfortunate because they protrude and they aren't on the right side um, so they should be in theory better in the viper ultimates that are literally inside the mouse like i, I still haven't gone over that they fucking sucks um but that's whatever side buttons are meh scroll wheel it feels very tiny in relation to the rest of the mouse um but it's down enough to the point where i can scroll wheel reset very easily clicking it is i'd say like a medium amount of force not the easiest um but overall it's a pretty tight like rigid wheel um but it's fine enough gets the job done the mouse feet i doubt it'll pick up on camera maybe it will um but yeah there's little dents in my mouse feet in the same place on both of these top ones so that might be a factory defect or maybe i, I don't know what happened but yeah the feet are pretty good they're scratchy um, but they are pretty thick ptfe not rounded edges which i would presume that's why they're scratchy you can see pretty fast overall good enough stock feet i wouldn't say they're perfect uh, but they're better than what I would expect MSI to put on a mouse. I think you guys really get what I'm saying. Like, I've never had an MSI mouse before. I've seen tons. Actually, I did have one, I think. I've seen reviews, and they just look like total memes. But this one, very respectable. I heard the wired version was complete shit, but this is wireless. Um, once again, we have that. Oh, fuck. No, I missed the charging dock. We have the charging dock for optimal charging. Um, and at $95, this mouse certainly is flawed. It's a Viper Ultimate competitor but i think the viper ultimate's cheaper now um so unfortunate timing on that um as i said before the shape is lower and longer um but yeah i think that's going to be all for this video quite clearly no boardsy seal of approval and um the sensor issue is obviously annoying as fuck but nothing i can do about that um, besides from return the mouse and never think about it again um like and sub if you enjoyed let me know what mouse to review next peace